What's going on everybody? Today, I fought my little brother in Bed Wars. You may remember him from previous videos, so instead of teaming up like usual, we decided to 1v1. The rules are simple. We played on three different servers, Hypixel, Bed Wars Practice, and Mindman. On each server, we did a best of three on the chosen duel, and the winner of the series got a point. Whoever had the most points by the end of the video was the winner. Stick around to find out who's the better brother, and enjoy! Alright, we're in the first game of all the 1v1s playing Hypixel Bedwars. It is a best of three. Let's see if I can somehow beat him. He is all the way across the map at Aqua, so we are basically the farthest we possibly can be from each other, so it may take a while to get to him, but I'm gonna do that right now. I'd say the best strat is just to go for like sharpness and prot and maybe some iron armor and then go for a fight. I have pretty much no bed defense, but that's not too big of a deal when it's a 1v1 you can go to any base. I will have to mention to him that you can go any base, just so he knows. Alright, I have acquired 7 diamonds because emeralds obviously don't exist, so the only thing to go for really is diamonds and getting a good bed fence and then fighting, so that's a pretty good strat. Alright, I've acquired everything I need, which is just prot, sharp, and everything like that. I think it may be time to fight him. He's definitely going to hear me right now because I'm talking really loud, so he's going to have to prepare for that. Alright, I have no idea where he is. He's probably shifting in his base right there. He might want to, like, fireball me or something. Okay, he's right behind me. Is he going to fireball? He is. And, oh, I clutched. Um, that almost killed me, but I somehow clutched. He has another fireball, as expected, because he's been here his whole life of this game. He Definitely, yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to fireball him, and it doesn't kill him at all. Alright, I'm going to try to snag his bed. He's going to ditch it, I think. He is. And now, I guess, yeah, I'm not going to chase him. I'll just void, and hopefully save mine. Also, I just told this to Flappy, in the final game, emeralds are going to be allowed just to make it more intense, because right now they're off because it'll take a while, but it will indeed be on in the last game, so we have more of a chance. Alright, let's see, he has an axe, probably because he had like a lot of good wood on his bed, and he was trying, and he actually is going to probably bypass me here. He might get to my base, yeah, I think he is, but as long as I can kill him before that, he has a KB stick, and we just tapped him off. Alright. Well, that was a anticlimactic win. He has that W high GG message. But let's get into the second game, and then the third game should be the Emerald game. So that'll be intense. All right, we're in the second game. Last game went pretty well for me. I'm going to be trying a different strat this game by being more defensive. So hopefully that does work out for me. And let's get this win. All right, I've already acquired the Butterfly Defense with Wool. Looking good for me right now. And I think he is going similar, similar strat to me. He has a defense, and he's getting diamonds, which is what I am about to do as well. And we have acquired two diamonds already, so that is prot and a defense, and this game has been going for like a minute or less, so that is a great start. And why did the sky just turn day? No idea. I think these Bed Wars games on Hypixel are going to take the longest out of any server, just because of the fact that it is the maps are like more spread out. But when we go on Bed Wars practice and stuff like that, we're going to be right next to each other, so the games will be extremely quicker. Alright, looks like he's making his way over to me. I don't even have iron armor yet, so that is not good at all. I definitely need to go grab that before he kills me, because there's no way I'm beating him in a fight when he has that better stuff. Alright, hopefully I can hold him off here, because I can get some iron armor and a fireball. And did he just fall? Okay, never mind. I thought he fell off for a second, because I heard him smashing his keyboard. But I'm just going to not miss his snipe, hopefully. And let's go. I'm so insane. Did he have some diamonds on him is a question? He had two diamonds on him. Let's go. That's a bit of a rip for Flappy right there, but I have acquired his diamonds, so it's going to be unfortunate for him. Alright, I don't know if he sees me right now. I kind of got to be quiet because he's definitely going to see me. Look at this insane play. What an insane play. Okay, um, that was a bit interesting right there. We're not. Oh my, no way that actually killed me. I was about to run on the bridge, but his fireball killed me. Alright, that was a very interesting sequence of events. Okay, I don't see him anywhere. I'm guessing he's near my base, so it looks like we're about to trade beds, and it will just be a 1v1 as final kills, so that is a interesting turn of events right there. There it is. My bed's gone. I don't know if he's going to void because he probably knows I'm about to get his. It looks like he is not, so I've acquired his bed right now, and now I'm going to grab some prot too, and we should be good. All right, I got to be careful because obviously fireballs exist. I have three of my own right there, but let's just hope that I don't settle and just die in an interesting way. All right, there's a sword here. That's kind of interesting. Imagine you just shifting in here and just killed me. I don't know. That would be kind of funny if I just like spoke it into existence. But Prot 2, that is probably good enough. I do need two more for Prot 3, so maybe I could try to get that. 
I have absolutely no idea where he is. He's. I wouldn't be surprised if he just jumped out of nowhere and started killing me. Because I've looked, literally, I've ran around the map in a circle from his base all the way back to here. So, okay, there he is. I don't know how I didn't see him. That fireball almost killed me. I think I could just possibly fight him here, but I'm going to go ahead and play it safe and buy Prot 3. I almost got fireball. Those literally went through the blocks. That was kind of unfortunate. But now we're going to have Prot 3, so that is extremely good. Is he still here and oh i just saw him what the heck okay i got prop three this should be an easy fight but I might as well use the fireballs on him and that is a lot of fall damage oh my gosh he's doing a kb stack he's on five and all right we're in the third game where we are allowed to use emeralds now and we are indeed have put the event times at two times fastest instead of four so we actually are going to have a lot more time but yeah let's see if we can actually clutch this up all right, well, since emeralds are available, I'm obviously going to try my best to get them before he does, but he's obviously doing the same thing to me, so let's just rush to get there right now. This game is kind of like my emerald rush video, except we're on a 1v1 instead of uh, everyone else in the game. So let's just see if that strategy actually works in a 1v1. All right, two emeralds acquired already. I kind of fell down, so hopefully this is enough blocks to get back. Can I actually make that jump? I can't. I have to break a block, and let's go. We're going to make it back. There should be another one spawning right here, and let's go. We're going to make it back with three. I think the play right now is just to save these to see what's the best thing to buy in the future. Diamond armor, obby, pots, whatever it is, so I'm just going to save them and keep collecting. All right, looks like he also has acquired iron armor and is coming back to mid. So we're both in a pretty much exactly the same situation right now. And he's actually going back. Let's go. So that gives me the chance to get some more M's. I'd say the best thing to buy right now is just pots because buying obby is just kind of annoying in a 1v1. I mean, it's, I've done it before. It makes sense to do. But there's not really any point when you can just buy stuff to get the game over with. So let's just attempt to do that right now. All right, there's seven M's acquired, so now I'm going to spend them on the very nice items that I'm not going to say because, you know, he can probably hear me right now talking, and we don't want him to know what we have, our insane strategy. All right, yeah, I did not see him over there. Well, I guess my bed's gone and his bed is as well. So same thing happened two games in a row. We're trading beds. And we have also acquired his bed. I don't even know why I got... He died? Okay, I don't know where the... How did he die? I'm guessing he fell in the void. Um, I'm going to check the replay real quick and be a nice person. Alright, so it looks like what happened, he got my bed and was trying to void before I got there. He probably did not hear me. I mean, that makes sense. Our rooms are not the closest to each other. But yeah, that actually succeeded for me very well because I got his bed. He was in the void and he died. But yeah, that is one point for me, zero for him. And let's go in and get to the next mode, which is Bedwars Practice. Alright, we're on the next server, Bedwars Practice. Uh, last game, I did acquire a point. Pretty unfortunate for him on how he died, but let's see if uh, he can even it out or if I can just be insane and get two points. This is annoying. I don't have a quick buy, but... Oh, I can actually get my favorites from Hypixel. Okay, that's pretty nice, Bedwars Practice. Thank you for including that. This is going to be a lot different because we're next to each other instead of all the way across the map, and obviously there's no emeralds to get, so these games are most likely going to be a lot quicker unless something happens. Alright, I got the good old OG hot dog bed defense, and it looks like he did it as well, I think. He did something different, but we both have wood, so that's going to be something we're going to have to get through. Alright, it looks like I got here before him, but he's TNT jumping, so okay, that did not go well for him. Um, I think I'm just gonna try to kill him out here. He's probably gonna buy a gap and just heal up, but I think I should hopefully get this if I don't sell. Alright, I have to kill him here. Okay, he just fell off. Alright, well, he's gonna have full health, and I only have, like, three hearts down, so that's gonna be a bit difficult to kill him. We have acquired his bed. Please, I got a stone sword. He only has a wood. Okay, that did not go well. I'm gonna be honest. I tried a strategy there. Like, it's kind of a thing you do in boxing when you're already in a combo where you just kind of click like this instead of just fully butterfly clicking. I definitely should have just started spam butterfly clicking, but that th that already happened. We can't complain about something that already happened. Let's just get this over with. All right, I'm about to get a fireball, so that's going to be extremely helpful. And fireballs, I'm pretty sure, aren't broken on here like they usually are on high pixel. So, yeah, I should be able to use it on him in a second. He, def he has a fireball as well, so we don't want him to use that. Hopefully that gets him. Please, is he going to clutch? He isn't. All right, well, that is the first game to me. Um, we're on actually on a win streak right now because we lost that one game on high pixel. That was unfortunate, but we got this win, and let's get into the next few games. All right, we're in the second game. I don't know why my emote wheel keeps opening up. I don't even use emotes, but yeah, we're in the second game with Mr. Flap2. He's going to say, let me cook in chat. How is he 13 stars? What am I? I'm 5 stars, so he's definitely going to win because stars equal skill. 
I'm just gonna do the exact same strategy since I did the hot dog defense last game. Usually I would just rush, but might as well try this. And he's already here, so that's great. I better just get this defense down and kill him um, before he gets here. That Okay, that was not a hot dog defense. What was that? But we gotta kill him right now. Yeah, that was not too hard right there. And now let's get him out. He flatbirds all the way here, so that's very nice for me to get all the way to his base. Did he do it a fence is the question? He did not, so I can just grab his bed right here. That's a lot of fall damage, though, and I don't know why I keep trying to clutch. I cannot clutch. All right, after this is fireball fight, so obviously it's going to be a bigger chance for him because that's kind of a 50-50 game. But there's my bed. He's already on fire, and yeah, I was at half health. I was honestly pretty close that game, but we have honestly destroyed him this game. Let's go in and get onto my men club and play some fireball fight. Alright, so it's obviously 2-0 in favor of me, so it's been going very well for me last so far. I don't know why I cannot talk and can actually clutch. Let's go. Um, hopefully, I can actually win this one as well because that would mean we don't even have to play the last series. But whatever happens is obviously going to happen. Alright, looks like we're actually skipping each other, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we are. So now it's just going to be a 1v1 as we're both finals, I'm guessing. All right, I'm just going to place that there. I could have just broken it, but I'm bored, so might as well break it. And I'm guessing if I void uh, something that happened, you know, when I was against him at Hypixel. Yep, there it is. If I voided, my final death would have been taken. But yeah, let's go in and kill him. I'm definitely not being risky drag click bridging. I usually don't drag click bridge, but it's kind of fun to do it because I have this mouse. Might as well drag click. But yeah, I'm going to go in and get him right now because then I'll just be up 1-0 in this. And we're already up 2-0 with the points, but I have zero blocks, so it's not looking great. Okay, I can't see him right now. He's not at mid, obviously, so I'm going to have to TNT jump at some point. I literally have 6 endstone, 8 ladders, so I'm going to have to ladder bridge and then uh, TNT jump later. So this is not looking great for me at all. So hopefully I can still win. All right, I've ladder bridge all the way to right here. It looks like he's gonna be at that bridge or that island. I mean, we're gonna go. We made it here. He's gonna TNT jump to me. I have nothing to block me, and he's on 20. So hopefully we can kill him, and we managed to do it. I did. That strategy honestly works well. Not fully butterfly clicking and just clicking like this. So yeah, let's get into the next duel with them, and we actually have to hope that we still win again. Cause if we win this, we win it all. And I'm just being good at the game. I'm the most skilled player ever. And Flap 2 has also fallen into the void, so both of us have fallen so far, not looking good for either one. This island's like three blocks away, so I'm just going to bridge, and he almost fireballed me. That was close, but I should be able to get behind him, and never mind, that isn't going to work. I don't feel like trading this time. What the? Okay, that was the weirdest thing I've ever done. I should have just left and traded, but that's not really fun. All right, can we get that fireball? That was way too late. I'm just the most best aimer in the world. Most best, and my grammar's great. But hopefully we can kill him here. He's using a lot of fireballs. I'm not going to die. Where what the heck? Okay, he's actually doing kind of decent the fireballs, and I just killed him with his own. Let's go. On two hearts here, I'll probably just die from his fireball, or just that can happen. This game's actually taken a lot more time than usual because we're actually fighting a lot more instead of just trading. So that is working out, and okay, I just took no health. I'm going to try sneaking around this way. I know there's a bridge there, but I might as well just get around him and try to acquire acquire his bed. Oh, my. He's going to fireball jump to me. He already got the high ground, and his own fireballs are going to go good. Stoom. I cannot talk, but, yeah, I'm against the wall, and I'm at three hearts. Okay, he's going to TNT jump to me, and I'm already got the high ground. How did he get that hit? No way. And, okay. I'm just going to fast forward until something interesting happens. If I either get his bed, he gets mine, or interesting fight happens. Let's see. What? He just fireballed my TNT away from his bed. Are you serious? Where did he go? Now he's behind me. All right. Well, I should grab his bed if I die or if I don't die here. Okay, this he's actually like spamming fireballs. But anyways, why am I on F5? I actually got to not die there. We should have the bed, but there's no way I'm killing him on half health. I actually, maybe I can. I keep saying I'm not going to kill him, and then I just actually don't kill him, and it happened again. All right, this game is taking way too long. I know I said I didn't really want to skip. Is he skipping me? Yeah, I think he is. So now we're finally skipping each other. It seems like all these games just end in us skipping each other. And I just realized I already have his bed. What am I doing? All right. Well, this is just proof I have the best game sense worldwide out of all people in history. But now I actually need to find him. No idea where he's at. All right. I'm guessing. Okay. He's hiding. I'm going to hit that fireball, I think. And he's dead. Let's go. All right. Well, I guess that is it. We should play a couple more games right here just for fun because why not? And let's get into that now. All right, so we're just going to do a couple random duels for fun. We're going to do some parkour, all right, because uh, why not? And he's going to be picking them all just because I picked all the modes for the video. And obviously, this is still in the video, but 
yeah, we're gonna actually hopefully not fall at all. He hasn't fallen as well, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm just blind. And I just missed that. Are you serious? Okay, well, if you have no momentum in this game, it's kind of difficult. And it looks like I barely won. He actually was one jump away, but it looks like that didn't go well. It looks like he's doing me again, so let's see if he can get his revenge. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. Like, why is bro, like, so worked up? But anyways, I'm just gonna stop talking to concentrate. Oh, that did not work at all. It, oh my gosh. Okay, this actually sucks when you don't have momentum. Because then you just keep missing the jump because you have none. And okay, that worked, made it, and he just destroyed me, okay. All right, it looks like he has chosen build UHC, one of my least favorite modes because of rotting. Let's see if I can actually um, use my non-existent rotting skills on him, but he's also gonna be spam bowing at the start, which doesn't do damage because this armor is actually good. But let's see if my rotting skills come into play here. They're actually not too bad, um, but if he was actually, oh, he's on six, I did not realize that. Okay, well, this is not going great for him at all. Let's just chase him right now, crit, crit, crit again let's just spam crits he's on two um i'm just gonna bow him for now is oh i'm so bad oh my golly gosh what am i even saying i don't know and i can't hit a single shot wow he did not just make that actually that was that was not tactical at all i'm 100 percent guessing at like definitely um but yeah let's just jump around and kill him why did my mouse just go to the middle of the screen and he's actually getting a decent combo right there i need to use a golden head golden heads are so annoying in this i'm so used to the high pixel ones where you just instantly eat it, but you know, it happens. He's on 10, I don't know, what am I on, 12? So we got a health advantage going to this fight. He's on six, um, we can just end it right here. And that was close, I'm on three hearts. All right, well, that was actually a lot closer. Let's get into a final game where hopefully I can end it out on a win or I might lose to him. All right, the final mode we're gonna be doing is Skywars. Uh, we actually both used to be Skywars mans on Hypixel. I thought, I'm pretty sure he was like a master of four or five and I was like, a legend one or two so yeah obviously i lost that account so if you want to check the stats of it um you can but yeah i got the speed hopefully i can actually get the combo and we're doing the strategy it actually works and that's gonna land okay well i'm just gonna be a nice person use some eggs or he's just gonna run away okay what's going on here he's gonna place that lava what a strategy and we're gonna try to hit him in his own lava okay let's get the crits on him and what just okay i don't know what just happened get him in the void sir he has no pearl i can just hit him off and, oh, he's actually going to land in the water. He doesn't. All right. Well, that's a good way to end it off for me. He actually managed to beat me in parkour and one Hypixel Bedwars game. But hopefully someday we can 1v1 again and maybe it'll be closer. But a lot of those games were actually pretty close. Let's go in and get to the outro. All right. Thanks for watching this insane 1v1 video. We have done this before, I believe. Just not, like, on video, obviously. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Like, maybe against Mako, Left Noob, or a different opponent. But yeah, thanks for watching, like the video, subscribe, and goodbye.